for hours ago marked a historic event in America's history, but for some it felt just like another Thursday night in political theater. Pennsylvania Capitol correspondent Kara Jeffers went from city parks to late night bars to see how people are reacting to Donald Trump's conviction. Hours after the guilty verdicts were announced, I hit the streets of Harrisburg with one question for people. Did you hear the news about Trump? I'm against uh, a felony convicted person, which sounds like 34 counts being elected president. Is it going to affect him so much? I don't think it will because everything's corrupt, politics, government, and everything else. In central Pennsylvania, there was less question on if the trial was fair as much as if it mattered. Okay, so he paid off a porn star to tell people that he didn't coerce her in having sex with him. Okay, fantastic. All right, let me just throw a football in and let it bounce off of every single politician that, that's done that in the last 15 years, but that's not named Donald Trump. All, all the evidence said that's what, that's what it was. He, he, he's, he's guilty of all the stuff, but the thing is, how, how it's going to play out after this, we'll just have to wait and see. As time goes on and we get closer uh, to the election, I think people are going to be looking at bread and butter issues. What's the price of gas? What's the unemployment rate? Even those who celebrated the outcome as proof Trump is not above the law conceded that guilty verdicts won't change the opinion of his hardcore base. One bartender noted the conviction won't matter, saying the case will be appealed and then stalled for four years if Trump wins. That same bartender emphasized he dislikes both Biden and Trump and plans to vote independent. I don't think this math works out to a third party winning, um, but they may become more consequential in who they pull votes from. I've been more following the state representatives. Um, just because like, I feel like they're more important low-key, and I despise both options for the presidential election. So, In Harrisburg, I'm Kara Jeffers, WENY News. And Kara says one repeated question she heard yesterday was, how can it be legal for a convicted felon to run for president? So while there is an air of resignment that this won't change voters' minds, many are confused and concerned by the law of the land, the way it stands right now. Absolutely.